In recent months, Boeing's reputation has been shattered by two 737 MAX accidents that claimed the lives of 346 people in Indonesia and Ethiopia. Investigators from the Indonesian National Transportation Safety Committee in Jakarta said systemic design flaws in the 737 MAX were compounded by errors by the plane's pilots, who had not been sufficiently instructed on how to handle malfunctions in the 737 MAX's MCAS anti-stall system. The anti-stall system on the MAX models has also been blamed in large part for the Ethiopian Airlines tragedy. The 737 MAXs have been grounded for more than seven months. The fault lays flatly on former CEO McNerney, both a Harvard MBA and a previous senior manager at GE. Two huge red flags that indicate recklessness and incompetence. Welcome to the Atlantis Report. Crisis hit Boeing faced fresh safety concerns Thursday, as the firm admitted cracks were found in up to 50 of its popular 737 ING planes following worldwide inspections. Boeing had previously reported a problem with the model's pickle fork. A part which helps bind the wing to the fuselage, prompting U.S. regulators to order immediate inspections of aircraft that had seen heavy use. The U.S. Federal Aviation Agency, the FAA, had announced the inspection of a number of Boeing 737 ING, the predecessor of the 737 MAX, after the discovery of structural cracks in a model in China. Disappointments are the order of the day with the American manufacturer Boeing. Boeing acknowledged on Thursday 31 October that during a worldwide inspection cracks in about 50737 ING models were discovered. In particular, Australian airline Qantas announced that it had suspended flights of a Boeing 737 ING due to a structural crack and that it was inspecting 32 other aircraft as a matter of urgency. In South Korea, authorities reported that nine aircraft were grounded at the beginning of October, five of which were operated by Korean Air. Global pressure has mounted on American aircraft manufacturing giant Boeing after the company admitted that cracks had been found in a number of its popular planes following worldwide inspections. The crisis hit carrier faced fresh safety concerns on Thursday, as a spokesman officially acknowledged that up to 50 of its 737 ING fleets had cracks in the pickle fork, a section of the plane that links the wings to the fuselage and manages the air pressure and aerodynamic forces. The spokesman said that less than 5% of the 1,000 aircraft inspected at this stage had cracks and had been immobilized for repairs. The announcement came after the Australian airline Qantas reportedly grounded a Boeing 737 ING due to a structural crack, and was speeding up inspection of 32 more planes. We never use an airplane until it brings all the security guarantees, said Chris Snook, the Australian company's chief engineer. South Korea also said nine planes had been stalled in early October, including five operated by Korean Air. The U.S. Federal Aviation Agency FAA, announced it had ordered an inspection of some Boeing 737 ING after the discovery of structural cracks on a copy in China. The 737 ING is the predecessor of the 737 MAX single aisle. The FAA has issued an urgent directive for all airlines to check their 737s that had completed more than 30,000 cycles for pickle fork cracks. Another threat to Boeing is the C-919, being built by Chinese state-owned aviation manufacturer Commercial Aircraft Corp of China COMAC. It is a perfect example of Chinese intentions and is a kick in the teeth of those endorsing free trade. COMAC has spent 11 years and $6.5 billion developing the C-919, which is seen as China's answer to the Boeing 737 and Airbus 320. The C-919 has a flight range of up to 3,451 miles 5,555 kilometers, which means it can fly non-stop from Shanghai to Jakarta or from Paris to Montreal and it can fit 158 to 168 seats. This hits right at the core market of its competitors. It does not take a rocket scientist to calculate how rapidly China can ramp up production. The Russians are in the game, too, they have a very nice MC-21 that would be much better and safer than the 737 MAX. The Boeing 737 crashes are tragedies. But what truly moves this tragedy into the realm of sheer predation and, indeed, criminality, is the non-response of the US government. The Boeing disaster is essentially a repeat of the DC-10 cargo door charade that destroyed McDonnell Douglas. 
Yes, there are more deeply involved technical issues, but at the core, MD decided that it was easier and cheaper to pay off the potential liability suits from additional crashes than it was to fix the door. Similarly, Boeing was looking for any way to get the plane in the air and cash the checks, than to fix a fundamental design flaw. They too have rolled the dice and loss. The only difference is that they learned to control the government regulatory agency that oversees their work, or alchemy, as the case may be. It is the same scheme that the pharmaceutical firms have used with the FDA and the CDC, but more importantly, it follows the gold standard of corruption, the DoD and the entire war industry. I would suspect that this is a result of 20 years of leftist indoctrination in the education system where merit doesn't matter and everyone gets a participation trophy. Graduates from Ivy League schools have proven to be totally incompetent. I think incidents like this are going to happen more frequently across all industries and the corporations are going to suffer greatly. Until Boeing does a major house cleaning, I doubt they will recover. Also, take a look at Gillette and their toxic masculinity and transgender advocacy and see what that is doing to their bottom line. It is going to get much worse before it gets better. Boeing built a dog of a plane, 737 MAX, that is an aerodynamic pig which can only stay in the air through constant complex computer corrections. No one should risk their lives in that plane. And especially after Boeing announces that it is now safe to fly. Those liars will tell you anything to save their profits. Boeing has no one but themselves to blame. The CEO actually comes out on TV and says they knew there was a serious problem with the 737 MAX, but they went ahead and allowed it to fly anyway. Seriously? And they wonder why Airbus is now stealing the show. Only in America can you find such shoddy excuses. Good thing Boeing has the crooked military-industrial complex to cover up for all their mistakes. Until we finally lose a war. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.